Hi, Stitchers! Hi. Welcome to the Pattern Queens special edition special. Katie's Whip Parade. So we're just going to dive in. I have bags and bags and bags here, and Mom's going to be my Vanna and help me hold things up. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So do I? Okay. I've never done a whip parade. We want to show the pattern if okay. you have it. Well, I handy. have. I have all the patterns for this first one. Okay. You can just show. Does the back of one of them have everything? I don't think so. This is before she started doing that. So the first thing is the Lizzie Kate Flip It series. So this is her second monthly one. I think. I don't know if I have these in any yeah, order. No, you have them sideways too, okay? Well, no, they're they're right side up. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mom sideways. She just woke up from a nap. Oh, I have no idea what that Valentine's apparently. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that one. It's the only one like that that Holidays I have. Holidays with charm, okay. and there's no charm. Okay. Oh, maybe there is. Yeah, it's like right here on the edge of them. Oh, it's in the middle. Oh. There we go. Okay. So this is not one of them. <laughs> Hidden stash I didn't know I had. So this is young Katie Whip. Yes, this is. I haven't touched this in I don't know how long. Um, started on 10 count. Um, I think it's cream soda from, oh my gosh, uh, not Lakeside Linen. Oh my gosh. Weak Style Works. No. No? I don't remember. Silk Weaver. Okay. Cream soda from Silk Weaver. And I keep telling you guys how cute the Lizzie Cates look on 10 count. And that's what I wanted you to see. It's a great thing for a young stitcher to do. So. I also just wanted to sh show you the back real quick of what a young stitcher does. <laughs> so much traveling. <laughs> um. But this is when I was doing all my boxes, too, for this. Mm -hmm. All that. So you have them all done. All that fun. Mom's like, this give it to like me your, and move on. This was your favorite color. <laughs> okay. It's a really nice feeling fabric. I think this is the one you had stuffed into a tiny little bag, too. Yes, it's all, yes. Um, but when our LNS was the old mill, they special ordered that fabric in for me so that I could stitch that. They okay. loved, Katie. I'll take your bag. Oh, no, there's more in there. Oh, okay. Okay, next is this, which came from a retreat we were at. I think this is Chessie and me. Well, you can pull the pattern a little and look. I think the back was hanging out there. Yeah, it was. Um, Heartland Tribute. It doesn't say who designed it. I think it's Chessie and me. I could be wrong, but, um, you pull the piece out and I'll look through the stuff. Well, I have to find the piece. There it is. So that was from a uh, retreat, the Heartland stitch, in. the Heartland cross stitcher society. That one. Yeah. And it was, it was just a fun retreat. Now the other one that was there was Marva's. Okay. But this is not, I know. So this is as far as I got during that retreat. <laughs> It took this you. is from the work basket. Oh, Here's your okay. Copyright. Okay. Yes. This took a long time to do this border. Um, and it was my first time doing a satin stitch. And the reason I did not continue working on it, I really love that pattern. The reason, though, that I didn't continue working on it is because I messed up and now I can't remember. It's been so long, I can't remember how I messed it up. I think it was that you were going to have to pull out a lot of the border. Maybe you're not over so. far enough or something. I think so. That's a satin stitch border. It is. So next up, I'm just going to pull the piece out, is from The Drawn Thread. Oh. And it's The Marriage of Minds. Um, I think I showed this to you guys last time, maybe, during the stash. Um, and I have told you that I got this because it reminds me of Sense and Sensibility. This is my big start on it. So there's a tiny house at the very top. There are two houses. I think it's this one over here that I started. Look, there. There you Titty go. Bitty bitty. <laughs> look, how, look how small that house is in comparison to the rest yes. of the piece. I'm like... I've got it's miles. It's not even the big house that's down here at the bottom. Like I have miles and miles to go. There you go. Awesome. And that was on 
um, 40 count heritage from Picture This Plus. Yep. Did you say that already? Nope. Am I supposed to be saying that? Yeah, if you know what it is, you should say it. I'll do my best, guys. Okay, there's like lots of patterns in here. Oh, okay. So this is for mom. Huh. I can't show the pattern. Oh, because you just have your working copy out. Yeah. Um, this is from a Blackbird Designs book called A Fine Collection. And it was a year of um, projects. But mom stitched this for me, and now I'm stitching it for mom because we both liked each other's fabric better. <laughs> um, I think this is my Blackbird Whips bag. Let me just keep that. Yeah. Okay. We've already discussed. I'm not nice to patterns, so I had to have a working copy. Yeah. Okay. Next is, is this yours? I think it is. Yeah. I think a lot of these are mine. Mom's like, this is where all of them went. <laughs> Is it um this one it's home of the brave and I am doing it totally differently. I'm doing it with gum nut, which is mom's, and on my favorite fabric ever. The same fabric you just saw. Yes, which is sparrow. This is 32 count. And that's my big start. And if I'm yep. I'm like, if I'm remembering correctly, oh no, I'm doing it two over two. I thought I was going to do this one over one for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. So I, I don't know if I found a bigger piece of Sparrow or what. Oh, next is sad. Um, one of our friends was getting married, so I was stitching this for her and then the engagement was called off and it's just kind of sat in my stash. So this is a Shakespeare wedding sampler from Rosewood Manor. Um, and I totally changed the colors to yes. fit her tastes. Um, but it's gorgeous. So this is as far as I got. And your flosses are all sampler threads and a couple of Karen collection. Yeah, I had like a big mixture of things. But it's very dark, but it very much I matched her aesthetic. Yes, it's so. really beautiful. Um, it's yeah, it's turning out beautiful. The the pattern is turning out gorgeous. I love the colors too myself. So you know, maybe I'll do something. Yeah, I think you just need to do it, and you know, you could put something else in the verse spot. Oh, okay. I just have to figure it out. Huh? Good thing somebody has some design software now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. <laughs> This is for mom too, right? This is for for you. I bought this at the at the shop. Um, is thoughts of mother from Cricut collection, and you can see the. I don't know if you can see this very well. It's but. actually okay. I have to say the colors on this one not fantastic in that it's really hard to see. Um, but what I was gonna say is that. It um, has capitalized all the letters to spell out mother. So um, in order to get out of giving mom that for Mother's Day this year, I got her that Emma Congdon book. <laughs> She's only been working on this since college. Yeah. So, But this is how far I got. And I got through this really fast. Um, oh, there we go. Um, so the first word is firm. And so the M will be the capital M for mother. And you can tell I've changed the colors. Um, I customized the colors because it's for my mama who loves purple. <laughs> um, and um, I just, like I said, I didn't feel like it was readable. Um, but unfortunately, this is when I was leaving needles in my projects. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like a rust stain on the fabric right there. So I don't think it'll show. You, you have it pretty far out. I think it's worse on the back than it is on the front. Okay. So... You can fold up your own Mother's oh, Day it. gift. I can look at it and go, Sunday, <laughs> when I'm off Lilo. <laughs> okay, next is Sleepy Hollow from the Cricut Collection. Oh, I stitched on this one in a round robin for Katie. And I think you pulled it out for Magical Stitches. Um, I can't remember. Maybe. I think, I think you did. And I've stitched probably more than Katie has on this. That's and Deanna did a bunch of this. There's going to be math involved, and I just need to do it. 
I don't know if it's all the way. I think we have to pull it back a little bit. But yeah. No, you're you're fine. So you're no, you're pulling my house off the edge. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's that's as much as I have. This is the piece of fabric that um Marilyn shoved down my shirt when I was a teen and looking at buying this, but I couldn't decide if I wanted the fabric because technically it wasn't big enough for the piece and I need to like remove stitches somewhere. You know. I'm not sure that that's what the case is now. I think yeah, you because... were debating it, and if you only bought a quarter yard, it wouldn't have fit. No, it's the half yard. It wouldn't fit, and I had to remove, like, a few stitches, and we had, like, found it, and we were like, maybe. But that's when we were hard and fast on the whole three inches thing. Yeah, we would have to look at yeah, it. Yeah, so now we're going to have okay. to look at it and do some math. Um, I think that's it. I, that's okay. actually, I'll these take... are the pages that go with Sleepy okay. Hollow. I'll get it together. Okay, so that's all the things that are loose. Then let's just do the bag that's next to me. If you pull all of them out and give me the bag, then I'll bag them as you go. Should I show them my bags as we go? I've been collecting these from book boxes through the years. <laughs> Is there anything else? No. Okay. Okay. So, my bag from Galleria from last year. Woohoo! Which has had many a project in it. Um, I think that and this are the things in this bag. Okay. Oh, multiple projects. Inside. I just have two. Yeah. So, this is my progress so far on the bright version of Friends Will Always Be Welcome, which is my own design. Um, I think I'm going to have to steal it and finish filling in the beehive for her. No, I can do it. <laughs> I've been trying to get the birth sampler done first. I'm like, priorities. He's only going to be that little for, you know, a little bit of time. Yes. So then I have um, all a Halloween year two June casting a spell. So this was going to be for an exchange. I was going to turn her sash blue um, and it was going to be for our show me exchange. We had to have something with blue in it. Um, but now, and it was purple anyway. It was so. purple. So now. Yeah, it gets to be for Katie. It does. So there you go. That's my progress. I did. I think I did most of this in like one sitting while we were at Panera. And is this the one that you've said now you would like to get all the other months? Yes, but they're they're not easy to find. They're not on one, two, three stitch. I haven't come across them in other cross stitch shops as we've ventured out. Um, I'm just not finding them. From Homespun Elegance. Yep. Okay. Oh, this one's actually not a start. Let me show you the stash, though. I totally missed this in my stash dive. Red from oh. Mirabilia. And if you watched this last week and saw her teeny tiny little start on um, Sleepy Hollow, sleep, not Sleepy Hollow, um, Hol Halloween, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, then you saw the beautiful fabric and that's what she's going to use for red also. So cool. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is not started. This is kitted. So not using this bag a whole lot. <laughs> I think these were, I think that bag was what I pulled to do the 24 hours of cross stitch. Oh, okay. Um, and this one, okay, so technically I have a start, but I think I have to redo it because I think I cut my fabric wrong to do this adorableness. You'll have to see. We'll have to count, huh? Yeah. Okay. So technically it's a start. I think technically it's I get it. incorrect. I'll get okay. it. And the pattern is very beat up already. Okay, so that's one back down. Ooh, and that's in a love you more sleeve. Oh, if that, oh, that's my love you more sleeve. Yeah. I was going to say, that's yours. Mom let me use a bunch of her full-size ones because I always keep standards because most of my books fit in those. And I like the full-size because I carry them at school and carry a bunch of stuff. This one was cool because it was different on both sides. Okay, I just showed this to you. I have not put in another stitch on this since I showed this to you guys on Sunday. Sweet Cup of Liberty. 
I was going to stitch on it and on the announcement, but I was so... Nope, nope, nope. That's just Nothing else? Okay. stash. Um, I was so tired that I put it up in the bed with me and then it just sat there for hours. <laughs> I was like, nope. Not Looking it. pretty. Yep. Oh, we'll save that one. Well, okay. Next is uh, the one we just talked about. That way. Here we go. Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Have you put in any more stitches since Sunday? No, I think I was thinking about pulling this one out and just, because it, I mean, it should be mindless, easy stitching pretty much. Um, While you're doing the borders? Yeah. But you just have to pay attention in the middle. Yeah. Well, I figure if I do the whole outline, then I can just do the middle. Oh, there's like freaking cat hair. Our whole house. Okay. Our whole lives. Here's her little bitty start. There you go. There's my giant start on this. And this is the fabric that she will do red on. Oh, She'll be so pretty. She will. It kind of reminds me of the primitive hair one that I um, showed on Sunday that I bought. That it has the woods. And this bag. Into the woods. The In woods. The woods. And then I honestly don't think I've made any progress on this and showing it on Sunday. Do you have a bag these are going in or just the individual blue, bags they're in? It's that blue bag you put down there. Oh, okay. Oh, and I just knocked a needle off on myself. What are you going to make it go in? The needle? Yeah. Nothing. Okay. The table. And okay. then there's that. Okay, next up. That was fun while you guys got to watch us both putting things away. I have some... Um, oh my gosh, what can I think? Paper clips. clips. Paper clips with little arrows on them that I got from a book box because... Yep, we'll do this. Can we pull everything out of this one? Yeah. This is a fun bag. The Weasley Twins. Oh, my notions. There you go. This can go back in because I still haven't started it. There's another Love You More sleeve. It is. Okay, so the reason I have the paper clips in there is because I have a bunch of oh. starts <laughs> in the Halloween issues um, from Just Cross Stitch that I have. So I had page tabs, but they keep falling off and they're getting all curled. And yeah, so I'm going to replace them with paper clips. Let's dive in, shall we? Oh, and you have the fabric in for yes. each one. Okay. Oh, I think this one fell out. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So, this is my start. I think it goes this way. Yeah. Um, this is it's my start mystery. on Rotted But Not Forgotted. Oh, okay. Which is not actually in the magazine. Which was Forgotted. <laughs> um, Ironically. Yes. So it just lives on the content page right now. Um, and then, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Let me stitch more things. This is going to be a very long video if that's how it goes. Okay. So first up is the yow cat. Oh, and you're showing the pattern. No, I'm not. That's part of another pattern. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me help. But the pattern for that is actually on the next page. Okay. But this yeah. is my big start. I don't even know which way it goes. <laughs> oh, yes. This, like this. His tail is here. This is when those scrap pieces are great if your LNS ever sells scraps. Then. I don't think you got this. Did you start? I did. Oh, okay. Purple on purple. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys are going to see that very well. Yep. We got it. Um, and it is, I, there, there's just not a nice way to, to show magazine patterns. Here we go. I got it. There. You got that side? Kind of. Hold the side. There you go. The spooky. Not the owl, but the spooky. This one. I guess I could put the piece of fabric over. Yeah. That would be smart. Then 
Oh, next page. Another piece of purple fabric. The same purple fabric. Uh, big start. I have a green stem. I think it goes this way. I gotcha. <laughs> and you're I dropping, gotcha. But no, you're dropping no, it. No, no, I gotcha. Just, it's okay. Let me get it. There. It's the eek, right? Yes. Okay. This is the most challenged whip parade ever. Yeah, when you start fifty things in one book. In one in one issue, yeah. I think I need to do this um next. I just need to go through and finish the books. Okay, did I have anything started in these? I don't think so. Okay. So next, you, we're going to do this. Is this one right here? That's cute. Like, if there's a cover page right there, I'm just turning back one page. Um, and my big start on it. This is Katie was doing tw like 20 starts in a day oh, or something. I got something. more starts than 20. I got N O P Q S. That's there. <laughs> and again, this is a scrap. I have no idea what fabric this is. But that is by uh, Jamie Kyle of Knotted Tree Art. No, Knotted Tree Needle Art. Excuse me. Um, then I'm doing both of these, I think. Oh. Okay, so I'll start with this one. Is that am, this? No. Oh. I am doing the meow on this orange carrot fabric from Weeks Dye Works. How many stitches count as a star? <laughs> you guys weigh in on that because that's fewer than 10. <laughs> no, it looks small. It's one over one. <laughs> Like, I think that's a couple of letters, actually. <laughs> Let me see. I think it, maybe it's the... It looks like a D. I N. think it's the N. Yeah, that's it. It's an N. Did you guys get that? See? Teeny tiny little N. Oh, uh, and then... Th there's there's no way to win here. Go back to the other page. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm doing... The cauldron spells. This one. Oh, that's my big start. Look at that fabric, though. This one is friendship, thirty count. So probably from R and R. Yes. I mean, most okay. definitely. I'm wondering. No. You want to flip back and put these in? Yeah. Find where they were. Yeah. There they go. There you go. Then what do you have? Then I'm doing white pumpkins from Donna Bayless of By the Bay Needle Art. I like By the Bay. Okay, we're going to flip this. Put this here. There you go. There's the chart. What issue is this? What year? Um, is this the 2011? 2012. Oh, it was so close. Huh? Okay, so then... Sound effects included. That's how far I got there. Hey, we can actually see those letters. <laughs> Some of these I was doing really late at night and I was like, you get five stitches. <laughs> but hey, I started it. I cut my fabric. I measured in. I and did you got all the prep work. Ready? Yes. Like that, that is like half the challenge for me. I was trying to help while you talked. Okay. Next page. It's, it's weird. It's backwards, I think. Oh no, maybe, oh, maybe I just didn't get it. There you go. Oh yeah, okay. I bought the fabric for this one. So it's, um, this is, I think, Old Salem Blend. Yep, Old Salem Linen from the Primitive Hair. Um, I think it's 30 count, because I think that's the only count that comes it's in. It's really pretty fabric. It is. And that's for? The town of Halloween. I really would like to do this one. 
Good thing you have more than one copy of this issue. <laughs> okay. I just have to keep giving you a hard time. That's okay. And I bought this copy. This is my copy. This is not hers. Thank goodness. Because, yeah. yeah, this would not make me happy. Okay. Then, I think the last thing that I have started in this one, this is the worst issue for me, like, that I had so many starts in. Not and the some, worst. And like, some of them are, the, are, like, really big. Just, like, it's the most, like, like, gonna get torn up is what I mean the worst. Okay. Is Witch Remedy from Silver Creek Samplers. Katie has kind of a Silver Creek Samplers addiction. A little bit. She's replaced my Lizzie Kate addiction. That's really fun. It is. Take a moldy slice of bread, put it underneath your head. Tis an old secret that might keep witches far away at night. And then I'm doing it on PTP. Pewter 36 count. Because I like to just, you know, make myself miserable. There you go. <laughs> That's all the sage advice you get from me. Ta. I want to know how long before these are done. I don't know. Okay. Were they in a bag? They were. They're in this one. Okay. So in order to do this, all I made myself a cheat sheet of all the patterns I started and what page numbers they were on. And then I have all my floss for all of them ring. on all one ring. And yeah, they're in order by page number. Okay. I gotcha. Then, oh, this is just a notions bag. My other issue is from 2019. I don't have near as many starts in this one, and I think all of them are small. I'll take your bag. Uh, this is Spooktacular Ornaments. So I don't know if there's a difference between a Halloween and an ornament. Yes, because the ornament issue is to is mainly all smaller things. Okay, so I don't do they alternate like every other year or something? No. Do I show my start? Okay. Um. Oh, look, we get a bat. There you go. It's actually on the side. Oh, this way. One of the ways. I'll figure it out. I'll figure <laughs> out which way my X's cross. There you go. And I think, yep, that's from Nikki's Creations. Then. There are some fun ones in this book, too. There are. Oh, I loved this one. Want to show that? Sure. I think this is one I want to do, too. I was oh. born. Can you see it? <laughs> Look at this piece of fabric, you guys. I was born with Halloween in my heart. <laughs> the fabric is this long. And there's a little eye on it. <laughs> and that is... Oh, sorry. From Liva, Liva Roveris. Oh, from Roveris. I thought Roveris was somebody else. Katie, it was, no, okay, I'm thinking. You're looking at. Are you? I'm looking, thinking Stitrovia. No, it says. Uh -huh, Livia. Okay. Liv Livia. Livia. I I am smart. <laughs> College education. <laughs> Still paying. Yeah. <laughs> In more ways than one. Um. Next, we have Home Sweet Haunted Home. That one I'll have to have so I can, well, I guess I can put my hand up. Just this way. Or you can hide it strategically behind here. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see a thing. Okay. Here, you, you got to cheat this side forward. There we go. There you go. Probably just blast you the pattern. Probably. That's okay. Y'all are not going to be trying to get things. So that is designed by Cassandra... Cavalaca. I, I would not worry about last names. Look at the design of company. Of fairy please. wool in the wood. Ooh. Never heard of that before. That Does that make you want to go look up and see what else you can does. find? That's what that always does to me. Okay, then... Yeah, I'm like, it's not that one. 
It's Spooky Stitching, designed by Panchoka. Panochka? Panochka. Panochka. Maybe it goes this way. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. It's fine. I'm covering it. Okay. Maybe it's the hand. I don't think it's the hand coming down. I don't know. Katie would have to figure this out. Yeah, you have it right. Because that's the pumpkin. That's the pumpkin. See? Oh, okay. I couldn't find a pumpkin on the page. Okay. Then... I know that there are more in both of these issues that I liked, but I just had to stop somewhere with my starts. I think that's it, right? Well, maybe. Yeah, because I have another one bookmarked, but I don't think I started it. Oh, yeah. It's the other Nikki's Creations bookmark with the other sheet piece. I was like, I'll finish one sheet piece before I start the other oh. sheet piece. Okay. There you go. And then, what do you have in your Love You More bag? Then I have my little Bella Bootsy. This is ball. absolutely what Katie's cat looks like. Oh my gosh, yes. Especially when Mom's cat comes around. Because she poofs up exactly that much. <laughs> <laughs> she has that panicked look on her face, too. <laughs> Did you already pull the fabric out, too? No, it's in here. Okay. So I only have one start on this, but I'm probably going to want to do more. Oh, yep. See, there's the cat I finished on the cover of this one. This so. is the Blackbird Tricks or Treat book. On the back is a yep. cool one. And this is the one I've started. Oh, okay. Um, and then do you want to just hold it open to it? Yep. This is my start. On this beautiful piece of I don't know what fabric. That's a nice piece of fabric. It's R and R for sure. It called for thirty count patriarchs blend, but and I don't I'm not no sure that that's what this is. But anyway, does anybody else sniff their fabric? <laughs> Do the those all go in here too? Yeah. Okay. Next is oh summer. Another another fun sleeve look at that no that's mine actually yeah and then oh excuse me and it would go sideways so that you could do all three yes. right so this is my big start on it i would really love to get the rest of this this year because it's so pretty um and again i don't know what fabric it is i think it's 40 count you're doing it over two yeah okay i don't know what yeah i don't know what fabric i'm using something pretty yep so there you go that's one of them and then oh another of mom's patterns this is a restart because i had it and my other piece mm. of fabric got caught in a um air conditioning malfunction in my first ever apartment um and it has this horrible stain right through it so it's blackbird designs evening shades the garden and katie had a beautiful piece of yellow fabric i did and i've had to just kind of change this is a nice stiff piece um i think i pulled it out of our scraps that we got from heart's desire last time i think it's i it might be lamb's wool but there you go. It's a pretty decent start on it. Uh-huh. It was really easily easy, mindless stitching. <laughs> it might be a piece of my stuff. Nope. This is from Heart's Desire. And that's mine. Okay. No, we did not pull out your beautiful bright my yellow. yellow. No. I had a couple of yellows. This one was Moon Glow, 40 count from Picture This Plus. Okay, and then this is this the pattern is the pattern that we always joke about because I just I don't know if you guys can see how horribly like I'm not gonna show you the back but look look at how horribly like it's coming apart at the corner <laughs> I mean it is like so well loved yes well traveled well loved this one I will not be passing the stash no. on. And it's called Holiday Seasons. So the one that I'm working on 
is this one because I stitched spring, I think. Um, and then mom stitched for me for round robin, um, the Christmas and the summer. I stitched summer. Deanna stitched Christmas. Oh, the, I thought the you winter. stitched both of them. No. Okay. And they're seasons. So I did summer and she did winter and you had done spring. Yes. So here we can show, we can show the finishes real quick before we okay. show the. Okay. So I have four different pieces of Sparrow. So there's spring. They're so cute. Here's winter. Yeah, Deanna did that one. Love that. Cause she likes Santa. <laughs> I just love the colors on all of these. And it's all the same colors. Yeah. Here's summer, but they use them differently in each block. Okay. That, that crazy girl on the beach towel was hysterical to stitch because there are some funky colors to get her in there, but yeah, they make it all work. And then during my starts, um, I don't know which way, what is it? Is it toward the top or toward the, okay. Yep. So then this is my start. On this one. And really in person, it shows up just fine. Yeah. It's so pretty. I love this. So I'm really excited to hopefully stitch on it some more this year. This is not a start yet. This was one I had hoped to stitch on during excuse 24, me, hours. 24 hours that I didn't. Um, inside of this is my secret garden. Um, from Sapphire Mountain. I have the fabric, I have the floss. I have not printed the patterns, but I've downloaded them. So you're ready to go. I am ready. Okay, that was another bag. It was, and we only have one left. See, it's not that the bad. The Weasley's finished up. It's not that Turn bad. it this Here. way and I'll pull the bottom. There's oh, stuff something. coming out. And we're caught, caught over the top. Here we go. Um, oh, something it's some of like, my pla it's some of my stuff from Frogwarts. Okay, and you had something that stuck and went underneath. Anything it's else? all your Frogwarts stuff. Some of it, yeah. Here's my fabric. There you go. Here's do you, some Frogwarts fabric. Do you want these things out? No, it's okay. okay. They can just stay in there. Okay. And that one? This is legit. There's nothing else under here. That leave it. With okay. <laughs> Not touching the stash. I was gonna help. Okay, this one is all but done. And it took forever to finish, even though I stitched most of it right away, um, because I ran out of some of this color down here of the coffee cup, and I had no idea what color I had used, because I used my own colors on 10 count. Thank you. Oh, let's back up a little. So that's another Lizzie Kate. Santa's wish list that just came out really cute on the 10 count. So the only hold up with doing something like this from Lizzie Kate on 10 count is that she used buttons and um, the buttons for the smaller one don't exactly fit on the 10 count. So the reason this is not a finish is because I still have buttons to attach and we um, went in and chose buttons for me specifically for my project. I have no you idea. You should just leave this out and finish it. <laughs> then you have a finish. But I have to get thread and I have the needle. Yeah. There we go. It's in the bag of things to work on. That's progress. It's been living in the footstool for a long time. <laughs> so at least it's out of the footstool. That's where my stash is stored. The, the old stash. Okay. Hand me the sleeve. The sleeve. You should show the sleeve. Oh. Wizard it, of Oz. It Look goes at that. With the pattern. There's Dorothy. So this is Dorothy's Discovery. And I did it on slightly yellowed fabric. So this is Sandstone 28 count. I don't know who Sandstone is from. It's scratchy, I can tell you that. Um, I like scratchy fabric. I know where this came from. And I'm going to have enough that I did it this way instead of horizontally. I figured out it would fit this way. So that's how far I've gotten. I have a good start on the bird and I've started some of the checks on Dorothy's skirt. The 
which I thought that skirt was going to be awful to stitch, like kind of intimidating awful, you know, and it's really easy. It's just squares of four. <laughs> and there's a pattern. You just find the pattern for whatever color you're on and you just go. So if anybody else is intimidated by like the big block of box, it's not that bad. I would say this is probably R&R. &R. I thought, but I, it looked a little plain for them, so I wasn't sure. Okay, I'm going to pull my colors out with this one. Oh, we still have some of this sleeve in stock, don't we? I think so. Paper flakes? Yep. So this one has cool Yule, have a cool Yule in it, except I'm doing it one over one on a scrap. <laughs> and I totally threw the whole chalkboard thing out the window. And I am doing it in my own funky colors. Um, this is bright blue. So this, if you watched my finishes video, is a leftover scrap from when I sent out the Easter eggs um, on a round robin. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I had And there are her colors. Fun bright green. I have to pop. This out. No, it's okay. Okay. There you I go. Have it. Next, this was a rep exclusive sleeve. Ah, uh, yes. And it so totally perfectly matches my pattern. Apparently, I have loose thread in there. Okay, so there you go. There's the sleeve. And okay, did we already come out with the other one? No, we didn't. We didn't buy more. You bought more for bags. Look at the inside. Love it. And it goes with this, which is chock full harvest chock full. And I am doing the jar. Maybe one of these days I'll go back and do the pincushion things. They're so cute. Um, but that's my big start. I had to rip out and then put back in already on this. I think this was one of the projects I um, stitched early on in the day um, because I was like, my tolerance for black fabric is not going to be very good later in the evening. <laughs> I was like, let's get this done while there's daylight out. <laughs> okay, then we have Indigo Lane. Oh, I love this. This is the one mom keeps wanting to steal and I'm like, nope, I've started it now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Where is it? Stitches. Is this the fabric? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. I used to have a big piece of fabric, but I cut off what I need. This is from Picture This Plus. It's 40 count. Um, I can't remember what the fabric is. It may be Haversham. I don't know. I knew this would be the kind of stuff. Look at that. Hey, that's <laughs> a good start. It looks small because it's 40 count. Be much more impressive on 28. <laughs> oh, I'm so supportive, aside from the fact that I want to stitch this, and that's what she called a start. And if that's a start, I'm never getting to start this this pattern. Uh-huh. Hand over housewife. <laughs> Mine has massive pro progress. That's an hour. That is an hour's worth of a start. That's what that's what needs to be kept in mind here. Is that <laughs> not the Halloween issue ones, but <laughs> everything else is an hour's worth of stitching. So <laughs> Next. this should be in your oh no. She is my mother. I can do that. Okay. She thinks she can. Next yeah. up is Huckleberry Farm from the Blue Flower. I don't know that I realized you started this. Oh, and this is in one of my sleeves. In it fact, is. it is Laura's birthday sleeve yes. from last year. Okay, so there. So, ooh, look at the purple. Look at the prettiness. Yes, my favorite colors. I thought I heard. And on the back, I mean, it changes as it goes around. So Okay, mm. this is 36 count crystal shale. Because the we went to PTP and she had a crystal laying out on the table. And I was like, I'll take it. It actually turned out pretty purple. Um, I don't think it looks purple here. Shale is a hard color. Um, 
I think, to see the purple in until you get some on it. Now, I think this one, I couldn't do too much stitching um, because I just didn't have a lot of the colors at the time that we decided to do this. I think I decided to do this with like 24 hours notice. <laughs> so it was like, what can I pull that the charts call for? Go! <laughs> That'll um, be beautiful on that crystal, though. And last one. See? I thought you had one more bag. No, that was it. Yeah, keep looking. See, it was it was not anywhere near as bad as you thought. <laughs> hocus pocus. And Denise Duskins. Doreen. 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 Doreen Duskins. I'm sorry, Doreen. I'm new to this. Doreen. So if you want to stitch this with me, uh, this is the one I've started. And then the big one. Yeah, the big one. I'm definitely doing the other ones. I just have to figure out on what. And this is one of the reprints, so it's on paper. Like, I just flashed you things. Okay. Yeah. Hurry. Rewind and screenshot. No. Well, I'll do this stitch along. I think, yes, I figured out um, I could fit it vertically this way. So I'm starting from the top on the border. There you go. And this is vellum from Picture This Plus. It's 36 count. So there you go. It smells interesting. <laughs> it's like I caught a whiff of it. It's kind of like How bubbles. How about I do this and you finish up talking? Well, that's it. That, that's all. So what all. else do you want to say about this? Do you want to tell a secret about vellum? No, I'm good. <laughs> Mom really wants to tell the secret about vellum and I'm like, nah, I'm good. And she won't let me. No. So. so I think that's it. How many, I wonder how many whips that was. Did you count? I no, I did not count. She had one job, folks. Aside from putting away all of the, all of I the I had whips. the big job. Keeping <laughs> Katie in line. <laughs> Believe me, that's a job. She's been doing it for 30 something years. <laughs> so with that, I that think... ends your special edition. Yeah, we, um, so we went and checked. We didn't have any numbers, um, for guesses on the last video for Alphabet. So we'll save prizes for next time. Yep. And we'll figure out what kind of things, um, we'll be, we'll have coming up. So Katie's going through finding lots of fun prizes and things. Yep. It's because I have to shop for the retreats and then I find the other cool things and then I forget what I've already bought and I buy duplicates of things already <laughs> in my stash. I don't ever buy never, duplicates. Never, never. Nope. Okay. Okay. Till next time. Bye. Bye.